local high school facing life in prison for allegedly having sex with underage students he met at the school. Let's get to Fox 2's Charlie Langton, who joins us live with more on this disturbing case. And Charlie, we understand this guy was only there for a few months. That's right, he wasn't there at this school for a few months, but it is a very disturbing incident here in Lincoln High School. Take a look here. This is in the city of Warren. Now, 22 years old, that's all he is, 22, Jaron Johnson. He was in a Warren courtroom today where he was arraigned on eight counts including criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, which is the old rape, and that means life or up, well, up to life in prison. Now, what do we know about 22-year-old Jaron Johnson? Well, first of all, he is a graduate of Lincoln High School. He was, he started here after, uh, after he graduated, but he only worked here a little bit. Started as a football coach. After the season, he became the hall monitor, and then he met a 14-year-old freshman they started sexting. They started flirting. They, we understand they may have sent pictures to each other. And then they may have had sex in the career tech building inside the school. Again, these are all allegations at this time. But I talked to two students who knew both JJ, as he was known in the school, and the 14-year-old girl, as well as the prosecutor in the case, Pete Lucido. Take a look. They started by texting and flirting in the halls. Did you actually see it? Um, I saw a few glances of it, but I didn't think nothing of it at the time. What's your reaction now that he's being charged with all kinds of life felonies? Uh, to be honest, I mean, he got what is coming. Cause, I mean, what is like, what is you doing with a fourteen-year-old? Period. Like, it's just a principle. Like, why? How disturbing is this? Are you kidding me? He's supposed to be a hall monitor, and he's out there then acting as if this is, it's, it, it's not right what happened. It's against the law, and he is going to be penalized accordingly. He's charged with a crime. He's presumed innocent, but you know what? There's eight counts with minors that he's charged with engaging in sexual activity. These are CSE. These are serious charges. They're life offenses. All right, let's talk about life offenses. Anyone having sex under 14, that is a life offense. Of course, he's innocent until pres and presumed innocent until proven guilty. Now, he was in court and Warren Court. The judge gave him a $500,000 bond. That means he's got to put up $500,000, no 10%. He'll be back in court a little bit later on this month. But again, the school suspended him. Uh, the Warren police did a good job in investigating this case. And then the prosecutor, of course, brought the charges. Again, J.J., as he is known to students here. Popular guy, they say, but uh, he's in some trouble this morning. He is or today in the, Oak, in the Macomb County Jail. Reporting live here in Warren, Charlie Langton. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, if you're a hall monitor, you're supposed to help keep the students safe in the school, Charlie. And with these allegations, you said two students. How did police finally learn about these allegations? Uh, this talk of this, finally someone came forward uh, and told police, they did an investigation, they notified the school, and immediately J.J. was removed from the school, and then the Warren police submitted the charges to the prosecutor. We understand that they've had this uh, case for about two weeks or so. They wanted to make sure, anytime you have a criminal sexual conduct case involving young people, uh, you know, uh, those are young people, so it's very sensitive to do the investigation. It takes a while, but he's been removed, and now uh, J.J. is, uh, he's looking at a $500,000 bond. Again, he'll be in court a little bit later on this month. But again, a very disturbing situation here in the city of Warren. Definitely.